Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 1971 BMW 2002. This is a locally owned car. Uh, it's been in the same ownership's hands for the last 12 years. Uh, stored indoors, climate controlled garage. Uh, driven very, very uh, sparingly, less than 500 miles a year. Um, it's in good shape mechanically and cosmetically. Uh, so it is the original color. Um, the paint, I'd say, is in um, average to above average condition. There's some little stuff cosmetically. Uh, there's a ding here, a little ding there. Uh, there's a little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but a couple of bubbles of rust here. The rest of this side of the car is good. Now, all the trim is in really good shape. Uh, the wheels and tires are in really good shape. Tires are new, the wheels are all really clean. So the chrome is in good shape for the year. You can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you can see some of the bubbling on the paint here. Um, that's noticeable on the deck lid and it's noticeable on the hood. Uh, the guts of the car are really nice. So the underside of the hood or the deck lid. Um, I won't do it in the video. I have pictures of the uh, bed so you can see back here. I mean all that's really clean. There's some surface rust from the spare tire. Uh, I've pulled that out and you can see it. Um, you can see the rest of it. Uh, there's a ring where the tire is where some moisture was. Um, the rest of it is pretty clean. So those clip in. I mean that's all in good shape there. So a couple cosmetic things here on the deck lid. So the back, this quarter panel is clean. So there's a little rust here. There's some bubbling at that point. The rest of the side of the car is clean. The trim, all that stuff's in really good shape. There's some rust down here. There's a little pocket of rust about the size of a 50 cent piece. And, uh, and that's about it. There's the rest of it is super clean. And as you can see, the trim is in good shape. So again, you've got some of that spotting on the hood. You may be able to wet sand that out. Yeah, just what it is. And then under here, so uh, stickers here, uh, stickers here, uh, stickers here. And then on the other side, walk over. Uh, the original VIN is here and then matching numbers here and then stickers here. So you can see a Weber carb that was just, uh, they just put the Weber carb in. Uh, they just did also a bunch of uh, work on the engine. Uh, I've got a list of that. Um, you can see the new hoses, new wiring they did. Uh, it's got a new battery in it. They did new manifold uh, work uh, when they did the carb. So, Mechanically, it's nice. Cosmetically, probably above average for these for this generation car. The back seat is very clean. I mean, literally in perfect condition. The headliner's in good shape. As you can see, there's any staining. Um, they're obvious. So this has got a tear in it. Here, passenger side's good. Door panels. So all the windows uh, open and close easily. Everything works that we're aware of mechanically. Uh, even the radio works, which is impressive. <clears throat> so I got three keys here. That's that's the one there. Is that it? No. Um, so you can see the dash is clean. To make. Uh, can you believe that the radio works? I, mean, I can't believe the radio works. So I'm going to turn it off just so you can hear. So, you can hear the engine run smoothly. So there's the door panel, passenger side door. Uh, this has broken the clip on the visor. Uh, you can see the dash is clean. Uh, so lights, so those are bright, regular. Um, let me go through just the indication stuff. So I've gotten out. So there's uh, left hand, there's right hand, uh, hazards, here 
Uh, I've gotten out and checked all of the lights, all the gauges, all that stuff work and are operational. Um, the fans work, so this is your fan speed here. Turn it on, pull it out, then you've got um, your location down here. All that stuff is operational and then temperature here. Uh, four speed transmission, as I mentioned, and you probably heard it earlier. It's like Arizona Senator. I, mean, I can't I believe the radio works. I, I don't know. I've got pictures of all this. It's hard to see um, the floorboards, the, the carpet on the um, bottom and on the sides is new. It's got a Momo steering wheel, horn works. The, the windows roll up and down easily as I've, uh, I mean, everything works as far as cosmetics and that stuff goes. The wings open smoothly. So I can't reach the drivers, but they're in the same condition. Um, yeah, the tag up here on the steering column. So anyways, um, it's nice for what it is. It's a four speed, it has not had a five speed conversion uh, put into it. Um, whether or not you want to do that. It's a common conversion a lot of people are doing, but it has not been done on this. So, oh, and let me show you the roof real quick. So the roof's in good shape. Anyways, uh, Super nice example of a 2002. Uh, we've had a number of these in. They've gotten popular. Uh, they seem especially popular in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this is a nice example and probably a great place to start a project or a restoration. If you have questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.